a nuclear power plant sailing the seas. Russia says it's one of the safest and cleanest ways to provide energy to remote areas. The academic Lomonosov combines both the technology of a nuclear-powered icebreaker and that of a land-based nuclear plant. It took 10 years to design and build. The power plant will be towed by three boats from Murmansk to the region of Chukotka, 5,000 kilometers away, on a journey that could take up to six weeks, depending on the ice. The two-reactor unit is one of the key projects of President Putin's so-called Northern Sea Route, a faster sea connection between Europe and Asia, which has become accessible due to a melting Arctic. Despite safety concerns, Russia's nuclear agency says there is very little chance of a nuclear accident. The nuclear station is very solid and is not vulnerable in case a tsunami or another disaster happens. Tests have shown that chances of a gigantic asteroid destroying the Earth in the future is twice as high as internal damage to this reactor. But Greenpeace is not convinced. In April 2017, the environmental group protested against the project, calling it Chernobyl on ice, referring to the nuclear disaster in the Soviet Union in 1986. <laughs> If the Fukushima nuclear station was damaged by a tsunami, we can only guess what could happen in this case. The place can be thrown upside down, it can be thrown onto the shore or get damaged. A recent nuclear accident in the north of Russia, which caused a spike in radiation, has also raised concerns. With several nuclear accidents happening in the past few months and a government that is tight-lipped about what exactly has happened, people are growing increasingly suspicious that, like in the time of Chernobyl, the authorities are trying to cover up incidents of leaked radiation. Even though the academic Lomonosov will travel only to sparsely populated areas, its journey will be closely watched. Russia's plans to sell floating nuclear plants to other countries have also rung alarm bells. According to Greenpeace, offshore reactors will be harder to monitor and they can fall into the wrong hands. Academic Lomonosov will stay in Pivek in Chukotka for at least 10 years before going back to Murmansk for maintenance and to dispose of its nuclear waste. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Moscow.